And that you just saw right there is why True Vision should not be in World of Tanks. Hi, I'm your host, Derpy here, and join with Cujo1989, as always. Yep, many re-roll edits later. <laughs> and today, I just want to share a little bit, and probably talk a little bit on True Vision and, you know, what's going on with it, especially because that's... You know, that's the one reason why that should not be in the game. What do you think so far? It requires significant... Right now, it should not be in the game, because if you wanted to make this the norm, there need to be some very significant mechanic and tank and map reworks. Because as it's this, you're jamming War Thunder in the world of tanks, and you're getting a fucking mess. An interesting mess, but a fucking mess. Right. Um... A lot of the times, the map rotation will include Al Halif, like you just saw in the clip, and stuff like that. You could see tanks across the map, and you know I was capable of one shotting an entire tank, which is fun for me. But on the other end, ugh. You when you're spawn imagine. killing the enemy team from your spawn, that's a big issue that games regularly have had to very violently <laughs> and immediately deal with. In the past, I mean, other pick your game of choice. How many of you have had a grenade blow up in your spawn in Call of Duty as the match starts? Hmm? I mean, it's it's interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, there are some times where I've actually been able to use more foliage as cover and shoot across the map that way, and it's actually helped me quite a bit. But at the same time, it's like I I want to say it's I want to say like. It's all a, now a game of who can see each other first, instead of spotting them like normal. Are you playing on a 13-inch TV that's kind of grainy and shitty, or do you have the, you know, 56-inch fucking 4K TV, where you can notice the individual pixels moving at long range, and it gives you that advantage, you know? And it's what this has become. It is, and it's, it's kind of bullshit. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel bad for anybody, you know, who doesn't have, like, the best setup or, you know, can't run this game on, like, something fancy like a big old TV screen. So it's it's mm -hmm. it's kind of singling out a little bit, but at the same time, like, I still don't understand why they would go for this over, you know, something that we actually need. You know, we could be working on better balancing or, you know, maybe even map balancing. Oh, dear God. Can we get a Kana's V2? No. Please, no. They're basically trying to go for a big dramatic change to make a splash to try and increase player numbers and circulation. Although, to be honest, what I've noticed with the queues in the server is that they've actually gone down. There's fewer people playing this weekend than there were, say, last weekend. I, I, I blame that on Hot Wheels. I'm not going to lie. The season pass, no. I honestly. Hot Wheels doesn't help, no. Hot Wheels doesn't help at all. SummerSlam, it didn't help. So, I mean, we still have until Christmas or December 8th, I think, this se season pass ends. But, like, the player numbers are going to continue to dwindle if they're just going to sell themselves away like this. Yeah, because you're losing a lot of the people that, you know want to play tanks not not hot wheels or wrestling <sighs> you know i i would honestly love to have a goddamn new garage that's all i would even if that's just one like like if it's just one update of just a change of garage i'd be happy i honestly would they just I'm... keep rehashing the merc garage and modifying and adding things and taking things away but it's still the same garage now for a couple of years now isn't it yeah, actually, it's been, like, two years now? Yeah, two years we've had this garage. I'll be curious to see what the Christmas garage looks like. I'm thinking there's going to be wrestling, Hot Wheels, cars, Christmas trees, and the rogue pumpkin here or there. It'll, it'll probably still be the same, too, the same mercenary map. So... Well, I actually know, um, because Hot Wheels extends all the way up through December, the garage probably won't change for Halloween, and it won't change for Christmas until right at the very end, if I had to guess. Because it's probably so. in the license agreement. Yeah, maybe so. Well, back to the topic at hand here, because we've kind of gotten off the track, off track here. Um, 
True vision. Pun intended. <laughs> Pun intended. Um, true vision. What do you think, like, do you think, like, what are some of the benefits of true vision? Let, let me put it like that. Well, for the more astute, the more attentive players, the ones that are more cautious, you know, the War Thunder players that still creep around on this game, there are a few, not going to lie. It definitely has benefited them. It's easier to see and get good awareness of where the enemies are and how they're moving, especially if you're more cautious and more observant. Uh, and like I said, it's definitely a dramatic difference in gameplay. Honestly, I, I I would agree with you on that one because, I mean, there have been times where I've been able to, you know, predict kind of where the enemy team is going because, like, me and Kujo, we've tested this out. we played a few matches, and on one of these matches, you'll see, or not see, but I'll... You'll hear that, like, take Malinovka, for example. You have that hill on the right. If you go up on the hill, you can kind of see where everybody's, like, dispersing to. You know, on that bottom right side of the spawn. or Yeah, it's bottom right. But, like, being able to tell the flow of tanks at the start of a match is also... It's, I would say it's very beneficial, especially if they're out of range. But we'd have to get bigger maps for that if we wanted True Vision to be a reality. You know what I'm saying? That or significant concealment reworks. We're talking terrain, bushes, trees... To where you can't see the enemy spawn from your spawn. Right, and that's that's probably going to be an issue because the more foliage you add to a map, the less like frame rate you'll get. You know, there might be an issue with like engine well, limitations. They're producing a product to a known capacity. They know what an Xbox One or an Xbox One or an Xbox the next one the the X. They know what it's physically capable of doing, so they're able to produce and maximize to that. Uh, so that's not necessarily a huge issue. The trouble is you've got to rework most of the maps. You've got to rework the crew skill mechanics. You've got to rework equipment now. It, it Everything that is the core basis the game was built around, unfortunately, with True Division is kind of negated. At least right. half of it, you just throw it right out the window now. Right. That's, I mean, that's also one of the huge negatives about True Vision is that, like, you just can't use camo nets anymore. You can't use binox, and, eh, it's It's not good. It's really not. And that's why, ultimately, it's probably going to die out. If not, then they're probably just killing their game at this point. True right? Vision has basically eliminated the need for spotting equipment. For camouflage equipment, it's eliminated perks. all the camo and spotting perks, too, are now, if you're a, an attentive player, they're basically useless. I can now take a Tier 4 Russian tank into a Tier 10 battle, and I'll still have the same spotting ability as a Tier 10 light tank at this point. It makes no difference now. Right. So, if, so we know that True, or True Vision is major, like, we'd say it's bad. It's safe to say it is bad. But if there was one thing you could change about it, it to, like, make it better, what would you do? A dedicated separate game mode, kind of like Commander, where you actively choose to participate in it, rather than being forced into it, but the downside of that is it's going to already split the limited player base that's available to begin with. Right. So maybe like a like a realism mode, like you know War Thunder with the arcade and realism stuff like that. Yeah, they have arcade. Um, they have realism arcade. And... They have simulator, and they have realistic. Something like yeah, whatever the term is, I can't remember. <laughs> right. I honestly, I mean, I can see True Vision as a separate game mode as well. It's just. For the base game and the fact that they're testing this on the whole entirety of the player base, no. I, I, it's an immediate no for me because, you know, I've grown so used to spotting and playing scout tanks. You know, there's no real reason to play scout tanks anymore unless you want to play them like fast mediums. You'd, 
you gotta if if they're gonna enforce this like we've already said, there's gonna need to be map changes, equipment and crew skill perk changes. But beyond making those changes, there have to be reimbursements towards people because of all the time and effort they've put into training crews to buy earning silver to buy equipment, using gold to do that. Better yet, how about the non-traditional camouflage premium tanks? Nothing quite sticks out so well as neon blue with a bright yellow cross. Stark STRV S1, a tank that depends on its stealth to survive. And now it's a giant screaming hit me target. <laughs> Aim right for the center of the yellow. Um, <sighs> it's, it's, it's a train wreck, honestly. And if I were to say, like, if, like... Now, hear me out. This is this may be a dumb idea. This may be a good idea. But what if we had another kind of, like, circle around us? Okay, so we have proxy spotting, right? And then we'll have a second circle between, like, view range and... Um, between view range and proxy spotting, it would be, like, uh, the true vision range. You know, it's, like, midway through. And basically, with it, tanks within that range, like, enemy tanks, would would, like, if they were to come into that circle then they would be true vision spotted but not actually spotted oh, if they're hidden that that's the old spotting mechanic that was where you were either had the view range to see them and, or cancel out their camo or you didn't that was the old system to begin with whereas true right. vision you can see enemy already at any position even if your gun can't reach out to touch them which that's another issue we got to touch on in a moment yeah uh um well, we'll artillery. Start with the facts. <laughs> so let's let's talk about artillery a little bit here. So artillery doesn't change that much unless you're in third person, because in third person you can see, you know, true vision tanks. But when you go into sniper view, you can't see any of that because it already would be overpowered any anyway, right? But it's understandable why they did that, because it requires people to still spot for arty, which Unfortunately, people don't have to spot for Artie to make Artie anymore. Because they can just sit and see it. Artie, Artie doesn't work during True Vision. Let's, let's just say that. Not as well as it did, no. No. And then Heavy Tanks, they're, with their poor spotting ranges, like you know the IS-3, the KV-5s, KV-4s, it's not helping either. Well, they're it's very like Arctic targets. Region. You climb up on top of the hill... And I can see artillery in their spawn. I can't reach out and touch them because it's out of range. But I know exactly where they are. I can see exactly what they're doing. Right. And it's not... I want to say it's just like... It kind of nerfs Artie. But at the same time, like... Artie, like, regularly in this game, is okay. Like, I don't have an issue with artillery like some people do, because, like, as soon as they die and get one-shotted by an artillery tank, they're like, oh, nerf it, nerf it, nerf it, you know? I honestly think that I feel bad whenever, like, artillery tanks are just constantly spotted. You know what I'm saying? This event has screwed over every tank in this game, irregardless of class that is, that depended on camouflage and view range to work. Since now camouflage and view range are moot, you have something like a Scorpion G or an E25 where you could sit outside of their view range and fire because you could account for firing penalties and all this and that. Whereas now you're just spotted. If you're not using proper concealment like bushes and trees, if you're not using ridge lines just right, you're stuck out in the open. So, like, the learning curve's gotten greater, would you say? Uh, no, like it's basically, some... you need to learn where you can and can't camp, and now actually the game, if anything, is simpler. Because you no longer need to worry about how far your tank can technically spot, how far away your tank can technically be spotted from. Do you have the proper equipment to boost your view range and your camouflage factor? Those are all nothing now. They don't exist anymore in this. Hmm. Right. So... Let's to wrap it up. We'll say that True Vision is not worth the time, and honestly, we don't know what wargaming's up to. And if this is going to be the permanent solution, then there's probably going to be even more player drop than usual, or you know, as of recently. They may pick up some people from War Thunder to revisit the game, perhaps, 
there might be some new interest in general, but the established player base, decent portion at the least, a noticeable portion, is going to be out on this. Because this is... I can have fun with it, but there are days it's definitely frustrating. If it doesn't have armor and I'm not, or I'm not playing it up close, I basically have stopped playing it. The, uh, you know, the stealthy tank destroyers, the stealthy mediums, this and that, I just... It, no more. Hell, the British light tanks, if you're not physically sitting in a bush, you're screwed now. Right, and you don't get you get like eighty fives all the way up to tier nine, which is ridiculous. So, well, let's put it to the comments. Um, do tell us in the comment section what you think of True Vision so far. Honestly, we both disapprove of it. And uh, anything to say before we leave, Kujo? Make World of Tanks great again. <laughs> We'll see you next time. <laughs>